Fleet Air Arms new Seafires, which did such excellent work at Salerno. These machines can operate at a very great height, which means that the pilots must pass a special test for high altitude flying. Before entering the mobile pressure chamber, the pilot's ears are examined for any obvious defect. And fountain pens are handed over to prevent them spilling their contents under the low pressures. The chamber is closed and another session opens. The medical officer keeps an eye on the new pilot as air conditions up to 35,000 feet are reproduced in the pressure chamber. With the oxygen off, the reactions of the pilot are carefully watched and timed. He begins to droop and within two or three minutes he loses consciousness. The oxygen is turned on again and the delivery gauge adjusted. In a few moments the pilot recovers. The strange thing is that he doesn't know that he's been unconscious, which shows the really serious danger of lack of oxygen at great heights. The pressure is again altered and the pilot begins to write. In a moment, the hand falls away. The fingers twitch and the pilot loses consciousness. These tests determine whether the reactions of the pilots fit them for high altitude flying. They stress the tremendous importance of the oxygen apparatus and how vital it is for the Seafire pilot to see that his instruments are in proper working order. Hail Seafires, here's wishing you many high old times.